Hello, everyone. We are happy today to present our work entitled Kaplan Wikipedia Categories with Wikidata Statements for Peter Semantics. I will just begin with a brief introduction about our team. The University of Sfax is located in Tunisia and North Africa, 270 kilometers from Tunis, the capital. It is a major university in Tunisia and it is among the best universities in Africa in computer science research. Our team focuses on many subfields of computer science, including big data, social network analysis, open science, scientometrics, biomedical informatics, and semantic web, as well as Wikimedia research as a major research field. So now let's move to our paper. As you already know, Wikidata provides a huge amount of structured semantic information. However, other projects, particularly Wikipedia, can provide other kinds of interesting semantic information that can be used to enrich and validate information included in Wikidata. For example, as you see here, a Wikipedia page can include a gloss, an info box, Wikilinks, section titles, references, and among all categories. So Wikipedia information as well as Wikidata information are easy to process by computer programs using a variety of tools. As you see on the screen here, well, there is query, query service for both of them, Wikidata, Wikimedia Tamps, tools, Python libraries, APIs, as well as other methods for processing the information. So combining semantic information from Wikidata and Wikipedia can have positive outcomes for developing Wikipedia projects and computer applications. So now we will see how the combination of Wikipedia categories and Wikidata statements can have useful applications. Okay, let's start with the first applications. The first applications is the cross enrichment and refinement of Wikipedia categories and Wikidata statements. In fact, each Wikipedia article that is included in, in, in a category has its own Wikidata item that includes a set of Wikidata statements. As well, the category page itself has its own Wikidata item, including category compiled topic statements, category contains statements, Wikidata Sparkle queries equivalent statements, as well as shape expressions. So the Statements about the category can be used to validate the Wikidata statements of the category members. As well, the Wikidata statements of the category members can enrich the Wikidata item about the category by including more information about the category as, for example, category compiled topic statements, etc. As well, the combination of the category with the Wikidata statements can be can urge the addition of statements that de describe the category to the Wikidata items corresponding to its members and the Wikidata statements can be useful to recognize missing members of the category and this will allow to achieve more completeness of the representation of topics inside Wikipedia. Let's now move to the second applications. The second applications is the refinement of Wikipedia category graph to form an ISO taxonomy. Our team has worked on developing an ISO taxonomy for driving semantic applications, particularly the semantic similarity measures. We achieve 
a high rate of accuracy for our applications. However, we, we get stuck with the problem. That is how to recognize if the subcategory of relations between the categories are, are, are just subclass of uh, uh, statements or relations, or for example, main subject statements. So for this, scientists use it to you to use statistical and probabilistic approach to solve the problem. But thanks to Wikidata, we can process the Wikidata statements of the category one members, as well as the Wikidata statements of the category two members, and compare them to verify whether the category two is a subclass of the category one or not. And by that, we can trim and refine the Wikipedia category graph to form an is a taxonomy in a nutshell. Okay, the third application we will be discussing here is that the combination can be used to drive natural language process. So as we discussed before, the, wiki, the, cate, the Wikipedia page of the category member can include full text that describes the topic that is uh, discussed in the page. As well, the Wikipedia, the Wikipedia page is linked to its equivalent in Wikidata, the Wikidata item corresponding to it. And by that, we can get the Wikidata statements about the Wikipedia page itself. The combination of both information, the full text of the Wikipedia page inside the category, and the Wikidata statements about the category member can be used to train, for example, semantic similarity measures, knowledge graph embeddings, deep learning, for example, the convolutional neural networks with LSTM, the semantic annotations for driving a contextualized knowledge graph enrichment and refinement, as well as raw text mining. So that's all for our work. I have last to uh, acknowledge that this work has been a part of the structured category projects we are working on in Wikidata. And we have to thank Anton Schuppen for providing user, useful comments and discussion about the topic of this research paper. Thank you.